We're back. Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and I have been gone for five days, five long days on a business trip, doing all sorts of crazy adulting things, and oh man, am I happy to be back. I've missed out on a full week of Destiny 2 news. We had some story leaks, we had a huge TWAB, and we had apparently some pretty big news dropping in that TWAB about a very specific, very hard-to-obtain weapon, so we're going to go ahead in this video and talk a bit about some of the things that I've missed out on this week. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the topic of today's video, the Redrix's Claymore. Now I'm sure a lot of you have already gone through this week at Bungie. I had to get caught up with it this morning. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in there. We learn more about how bounties are going to be changing and evolving in Forsaken. We know that the ranking system is going to be seeing some pretty big changes moving forward. Uh, the Gambit game mode is going to give you Valor ranking. It's going to have its own infamy system where you can kind of build up ranks in there and earn special rewards with bounties and whatnot. There's a lot of really cool stuff in this week's TWAB that everybody should really dive into. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below so everybody can check out everything that's packed into this week's TWAB. But in particular, there was one specific section that a lot of people latched onto, and it was some of the changes coming with Lord Shax and the quest that he'll have with Forsaken. In particular, a quest that's going to reward you with a very special weapon. If you roll over to the Crucible section of the TWAB, you'll find these changes. Redrix's Claymore is being retired in Season 4. It's going away when Forsaken comes out. Players who have already earned the weapon will still, of course, be able to equip it and use it, but players will be unable to earn Redrix's Claymore beyond Season 3. Now, we knew this was going to happen. Bungie stated that the Redrix's Claymore would be a limited time thing, but there's a pretty huge asterisk on this that we'll see as we continue to move forward. Now, instead of having the Claymore as a ranked reward goal, Lord Shax will offer a new quest that players can complete to earn Redrix's Broadsword, a companion weapon to Redrix's Claymore. Redrix's Broadsword features a similar talent arrangement, but it does not share the lore and triumphs associated with Redrix's Claymore. Once you've earned the weapon, random roll versions of Redrix's Broadsword will start dropping from Crucible Engrams. Each drop will of course still have the fixed Outlaw plus Desperado combination, and each drop will also have randomized barrels, magazines, and masterwork perks. Players who earned Redrix's Claymore in Season 3 will receive additional bonuses. Owners of the Claymore will be granted an exclusive emblem when redeeming the corresponding triumph, and Claymore owners will be eligible for drops of Redrix's Broadsword from Crucible Engrams even without completing the corresponding quest. And finally, a new Crucible reward will be added via a quest in Season 4, and a lot of Guardians do believe that that new quest reward is going to be the Luna's Howl uh, legendary hand cannon that we got to see a little bit of in the live stream Bungie held a little while back. So there we go, Guardians. Redrix's Claymore is going to be going away in its current form, but a new legendary variant of it. It's going to retain the kinetic status and basically everything the Claymore is right now, titled Redrix's Broadsword, is going to be available as a quest reward from Lord Shax. Now, this has caused no small amount of division within the Destiny 2 community, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the goods of this and the bads. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say that I'm pretty sure, like 98% sure, you can go back a couple months in the Planet Destiny podcast and find a clip of me saying this exact thing was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Bungie made the statement that the Redrix's Claymore itself would be exclusive to Season 3, that uh, you'd have to go through, you know, competitive and all of that to earn it. But I had a feeling, I really had a feeling that they were going to give us some other variant of the weapon because I just didn't really think that Bungie was going to lock something like that behind content. Now, for those who have gotten the Redrix's Claymore, you know it's got a very powerful ability combination with Outlaw and Desperado. Outlaw, of course, gives you those faster reloads on precision kills. Desperado activates once you've utilized Outlaw, and it basically triples the weapon's firing speed almost. It's crazy. But outside of that, the Redrix's Claymore isn't that great of a weapon. Now, hopefully it's getting a pretty big buff along with other high-impact archetype pulse rifles when Forsaken comes out, which might make it a little bit better. But as the weapon stands right now, it's kind of just an okay gun that doesn't really match up to the level of general usability that stuff like Graviton Lance and Vigilance Wing have. But like I said before, I'm not surprised at all that Bungie is making this sort of weapon available 
to a wider audience, not exactly to everybody. There's going to be a quest that you're going to have to complete. Basically, you're just not going to have to play basic Crucible anymore, get your rank up to get the Redricks. Now you're going to have to complete a specific quest from Lord Shax to pick it up. Now, here's the good things about that. I like that this is making it a bit more accessible to everybody else. Currently, the only way to get Redrix's Claymore is to play in the competitive playlist. And I don't know how many Guardians out there have really spent the time doing that, but the competitive playlist, that comp playlist, ugh, it's not very fun right now. Between the matchmaking, the sweats, and all of that kind of nonsense that goes into it, the comp playlist has a lot of really serious issues, some of which are being addressed with the sandbox changes coming in Forsaken, but some of which are just make it an absolute frustrating grind to go through. So if you have gone through and gotten your Regix's Claymore, I tip my hat to you, sir. You are absolutely a lord of destiny, too. So on that end, I like that this is being made more available to other general players of the Crucible. And of course, anytime you have exclusive content like this, opening it up to a more general audience is usually a good thing, allowing other people to get it. Now, hold on, hold on, for the people out there who are saying, no, you're supposed to fight for this weapon, you're supposed to grind for this weapon, this shouldn't just be a participation award that everybody gets. I agree. I'm not saying that Bungie should just hand out Redrixes, just mm, making it rain Redrixes all over the Guardians in the club. No, I'm not saying Bungie should do that the way they did with Graviton Lance, just giving that out as a quest reward in, uh, in, in the story. I do believe this is a special weapon with a special ability that should be worked towards. I'm just saying I like the fact that this is tied behind a quest now, rather than just arbitrarily going into a terrible, terrible PvP playlist and suffering for hours upon hours on end. I think ultimately granting more access to other players for a weapon like this is a good thing. So long as the quest itself requires a lot of input and effort on the part of the players. And actually, we got a good look at what the quest is going to require over on the Bungie forums. But we'll cover that in just a little bit. Let's talk about the bad side of this. We talked about the good. I think it's good that everybody's getting access to this weapon. I think it's more good that people don't have to just play through the competitive playlist to get this weapon now. That was my real problem. So on one hand, this is really nice to see. It's really great that Bungie's opening up the opportunities to get this weapon beyond just playing comp in Season 3. Now, let's talk about the bad, because there is some real bad there. Although it's fairly simple compared to the good reasons. Holy crap, do I feel bad for the players out there who grinded through just the absolute slog that is the competitive playlist, worked and fought to get their hands on this weapon. Ugh, it almost kind of seems like a little bit of a slap in the face for them. Like, man, I went through all of that trouble for nothing when I could have just waited for Forsaken to come out and then just go through whatever quest Bungie has in store rather than potentially subjecting myself to the wiles of the competitive playlist. And for you Guardians who did that, man, I feel bad for you. I mean, I respect your grind, but holy crap, what a painful experience that can be. And uh, man, all the respect in the world for you Guardians out there who did that. And yeah, believe me, I get it. I get it. It's not really elitism to say that, you know, you fought hard for something, it's a special weapon, you would want other people to have to fight just as hard as you did to get their hands on it or pay somebody to take control of their account and boost them up, because apparently that was a thing too. But if you're somebody out there who maybe has your Redrix's Claymore and you don't want it to just be a handout for other players, well, I've got some news for you. It's definitely not going to be. Bungie Community Manager Damage04 took to the Bungie forums to actually list out the steps for the Redrix's Broadsword quest in Forsaken. And let me tell you something, Guardians, it is extensive. Holy cow is it extensive. So we're going to take a little bit of time to read through all of the steps that are going to be required to get this thing in Season 4. And then you higher tier PvP Lord Guardians can tell us if, uh, <laughs> if you think this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Here's what Dylan had to say. Hey all, yesterday we announced the goal of removing time pressure associated with glory ranks and that Pinnacle Crucible rewards will be awarded via quests starting in Season 4. Redrix's Claymore will remain exclusive to Season 3. The Redrix's Broadsword will be available through a Pinnacle Weapon questline in Season 4 offered by Lord Shax. Now, to set expectations, here are the quest steps that must be completed in order to acquire Redrix's Broadsword. And strap in, Guardians, because these are gonna get crazy. Step number 1. In the Crucible, defeat 200 opponents with Pulse Rifle Final Blows. Step number 2. Reach Valor Rank Heroic. 
Step number three, in the Crucible, earn 75 double plays. Step number four, in the Crucible, defeat 150 opponents with precision final blows from any pulse rifle. Step number five, in the Crucible, defeat 50 opponents with arc final blows, 50 opponents with solar final blows, and 50 opponents with void final blows. Still going. Step number six, complete 25 Crucible matches in quick play, rotators count, 25 Crucible matches in competitive, and 25 Crucible matches in Rumble. Remember, a lot of these steps, I think, outside of resetting Valor rank, uh, you have to do them in Season 4, so it's not retroactive at all. Step number 7, complete 20 Crucible bounties from Lord Shax. Step number 8, reset your Valor rank 5 times within a single season. And step number 9, visit Lord Shax finally and claim your reward. There you go, Guardians. Those are the quest steps required to get the new version of Redrix's Claymore, Redrix's Broadsword. So there you go. If you were thinking that this weapon was going to be a bit of a handout to all Guardians out there, uh, maybe not so much. Seriously, this 9-step quest is actually insane and is going to require a ludicrous amount of time invested in the Crucible. And you know what? I think that's a good thing. If you're going to be putting a weapon with perk combinations as powerful as Redrix's Claymore up for grabs for everyone, without the basic requirement of just having to be good in a playlist that is kind of non-functional right now and causes you to lose a lot of progress whenever you lose a game, then that had better be one heck of a quest line, and I definitely think this counts. I mean, some of these requirements are absolutely crazy, getting the 20 matches and basically every playlist out there, resetting your Valor rank five times within a single season. So that might actually not be retroactive after all. You might have to get five resets within season four. This isn't something you're going to be getting done on like the first week of Forsaken. So if you're one of the uh, the more elite PvP lords out there, if you've got your Regix's Claymore and you're a little bit upset that everybody's going to be getting it, well, now that you've seen the requirements to actually get the broadsword, now, hopefully you feel a little bit differently. But this is interesting. I like this. This is a huge quest. It's going to take a lot of investment time. It might be a little extreme on some ends, but I love that after you've earned this, after you've gotten your Redrix's Broadsword, or if you've already earned a Redrix's Claymore, you're going to be able to get the Broadsword with random perk rolls in combination with Outlaw and Desperado. If they add full auto back to like the perk pool for, uh, for Pulse Rifles and Forsaken, mm, could you imagine a full auto Outlaw, Desperado, Redrix's Broadsword, <clears throat> that's just absolutely tasty. And of course, if you're somebody who's already got the Claymore, you get that special emblem and you get the, the ornament that goes with the Claymore and all that kind of stuff anyway. But anyways, Guardians, there we go. That's the news about the Redrix's Broadsword. I gotta say, I was a bit surprised when I came back from my business trip and was immediately hit in the face with that. I mean, like I said, I, it kind of verified my suspicions. I, I always felt like Bungie would make either an exotic version of the Redrix's Claymore that everybody would have access to, which would have been a great compromise, I do believe, uh, as well as, as having a quest line here, or just make a, a bootleg legendary version of it that's maybe not quite as strong. It looks like they took the the high road here gave everybody access to an identical legendary weapon, but they're going to make you work for it, and I am A-OK -okay with that. Forsaken is really shaping up to be a return to the hobby, to the game that you get up and you grind through every day working towards specific goals or just to get loot, and I gotta say, I really love that. But alright Guardians, that is it for the news about the Redrix's Broadsword and how you can get your hands on it when Season 4 starts next month. Those are my thoughts on everything. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below, especially if you're somebody who's already gotten your hands on the Regix's Claymore. Did you feel a little bit slighted by Bungie? Maybe like this is a little bit of a slap in the face at first when you read the TWAB? And do you feel better now that you know what the quest steps are and how long that quest is going to be? I mean, sheesh, I am dreading having to go back into the competitive playlist for 25 more matches before then resetting my Valor rank five more times in the season. Whew, it's a good thing Gambit's going to give Valor. But alright, that is it for this one, Guardians. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon and some TBL merch down in the description box below. Be sure to go check it out. But alright, that's it for this one. It feels so good to be back, and I have been waiting to say this for a long time. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my name is The Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.